With a firm grip on the world number one ranking, Novak Djokovic is the current king of the courts, following an explosive rise to the pinnacle of the sport. Such was the Serbian superstar prowess last year that no one in the tennis world could quite work out how to deconstruct the dominance of Djokovic. Did we see it coming? Not to this extent. Hi, I'm Novak Djokovic from Serbia and I turned pro 2003. I don't think anyone could have envisaged the way he is dominated. He can achieve more in his career and he can win a couple more Grand Slams. Aside from Rafa at the, at the French Open, it really has been the Novak show and it's, it's been sensational to watch. I really felt comfortable with all the shots this year. Mostly from the baseline, forehand and backhand, but usually the, the backhand on the line. And just his resilience and his strength of mind throughout it all has, has been so good. So, Nole. When Nole calls, the world tends to stop and listen. With 2012 underway, we thought it was time to catch up with the new main man to understand exactly what he feels has been the reason for his rise and rise. It's very important to, to have a high confidence coming into the top events and uh, playing against the top players. Obviously, I had a necessary experience in the last couple of years that I used to help me to you know, to, to have this remarkable success. It's been an unbelievable year, definitely the, the one that I didn't expect, but uh, it's a result of the really hard work that I put into. There's a lot been made about his change of diet. There's a lot been made about uh, how he's that much fitter. But I think at, at the level these, these guys play the sport, so much of it is, is between the ears. And I just think mentally he is just toughened up out of proportion to the rest of the others. If winning is a state of mind, on court Djokovic prioritised one particular part of his game. He recognised that this is the most important thing in men's tennis right now, serve and the maybe first shot. And uh, he started working on it. Getting the serve right meant the silverware soon began to follow. I think now he, he goes into an event knowing that, that the other guy has got to play really lights out tennis to beat him, but he appreciates that he cannot let his level slip in any way, shape or form. Novak was unstoppable with wins at the Australian Open, Indian Wells, Miami, Belgrade, Madrid and Rome, all before everything peaked at Wimbledon. London is the city, uh, city of tennis. You know they have the most prestigious tournament in the world, the Wimbledon, and people people like watching that sport. They have a great knowledge and they appreciate what we have, what we are doing. So I really look forward to being there again. It was a moment to treasure. We we celebrate our wins very much, the traditional Serbian way, I would say, and we 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 really, we really enjoy that moment. Then came victory in Montreal. But there was another major high still to come. The season kept kept getting better, you know, with the, another Grand Slam in New York, and uh, just just playing on that confidence run, you know, and just uh, trying to always look on the, on the bright side, take one match at a time, and that's helping me to, to really perform well. As through the story he told me, he came through difficult time, and he can appreciate really this moment and he can make me more deeply feel what is it all about. But it's not all just serious business. Novak has gone about it all with good grace, showing a wicked and infectious sense of humour along the way. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, I think it's in him. I mean, when I met him first time, I. I was not aware of his amusement, <laughs> of his entertainment in him. Absolutely marvelous. But he, he came up already that time with imitation and you know with all, all this kind of 
kind of uh, nice jokes, I would say, which brings him relax in his mind and he finds the room to relax. And right now, it's an unbeatable formula. I think that Novak will maintain the world number one ranking for some time to come. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, it's all eyes on Auckland as we go behind the scenes in New Zealand. And factoring in fatherhood, Justin Gibblestob accepts an invitation to Mr. and Mrs. Bob Bryan's baby shower. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.